Wake up! You are not in the matrix. Or is it still in it? Can the universe be a neural network? What is a neural network? How string theory is related to it? Let's compare the structure of the brain with the universe and how it all affects our understanding of the structure of the universe. In this breathtaking issue. Did you forget to subscribe? Made delicious tea? Sit back, we are starting. According to string theory, space has more than nine dimensions and the fundamental object is a superstring. Strings vibrate in high dimensional space and every particle of the universe is the vibration of a superstring. The fundamental object in the neural network theory is the neuron. The theory that the universe is a neural network is very impressive. According to string theory, space has more than nine dimensions and the fundamental object is a superstring. Strings vibrate in high dimensional space and every particle of the universe is a vibration of a superstring. The fundamental object in the neural network theory is a neuron. The theory that the universe is a neural network is very impressive. The neural network model is not a thinking machine. It does not recognize the patterns that we use in computer technology. Here, the neural network model is applied as a mathematical model of particles. But what if particles and even space and time are not fundamental in the universe? The non-fundamentality of space-time is unusual, but not new. Donald Hoffman is a great preacher of the conscious universe theory. In his theory, the fundamental thing is conscious agent and space-time is the emergent properties of conscious experience. At the end of the 19th century, Einstein redefined space and time, which were untouchable fundamental properties of reality. He suggested that the speed of light is constant for every observer and this law is more fundamental than the independence of time. This is the basis of the special theory of relativity. Another example is quantum mechanics, where the non-locality of the quantum implies something different from our everyday experience. Another example is quantum mechanics, where the non-locality of the quantum implies something different from our everyday experience. Take a look at the neural network of the brain. Just imagine how much it encodes and transmits useful information and how much energy it spends. The ratio is a kind of criterion for the energy efficiency of neurons and neural networks. A certain balance between inhibition and excitation of a neuron, the release of only a certain kind of incoming information due to a combination of receptors, all this contributes to the saving of valuable energy resources and its balance. It's perfect. Let's return to the question of the universe. In quantum mechanics, hidden variables are the states of individual neurons, while learnable variables, such as the bias vector and the weight matrix, are quantum variables. Hidden variables can be very non-local, so inequalities are violated. Each neuron can be connected to another neuron and therefore the system need not be local. Scientists say that there are structures or subnets of a microscopic neural network that are more stable and there are other structures that are less stable. More stable structures will survive evolution and less stable structures will be destroyed. On the smallest scales, natural selection should produce some structures of very low complexity, such as chains of neurons, but on larger scales, the structures will be more complex. Therefore, everything that we see around us, for example, particles, atoms, cells, observers, is a result of natural selection. Imagine that we are a computer game. We see only what the user sees. We have five senses, so visualization is not enough. We need smells, sounds. But the model is the same. Only what we observe is reproduced. Some interpretations of quantum mechanics say something similar about reality. In these interpretations, only observable things are real. But this trick does not solve the problem of computational power because the simulated reality will only be consistent if the particles are simulated when they are not observed. For example, if I hold an apple in my hand and close my eyes, the apple should be in my hand when I open my eyes again. If we follow the apple example, when I open my eyes, I expect the apple to be in my hand. The human brain does this every day. We always perceive only particles of reality and our brain adds to it the missing parts. But what if these parts of reality do not come from outside, but from the projection of another mind? 
This hypothetical simulation system does not simulate anything, but only combines the projections of different consciousnesses in order to create a consistent reality from them, which is why this simulation is called by scientists the consistency machine. But what if the consistency machine can combine the predictions because there is a basic contradiction between them? In this case, the consistency machine must change the expectations in order to keep them in sync. The structure that models the human brain can also model the molecular level of the entire universe. Does it look like we live in a neural network? We probably won't even see the difference. Write a comment, what do you think? And of course, if you liked this video, like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hugs everyone!